and then Fairview, Belly Lord, Milan Major. A ditch this one, Tide Cottage, Straight Jocelyn. Straight Jocelyn over on the far side. So coming down to the water now, Straight Jocelyn on the far side, little hour nearest to us, between horses, Tide Cottage over the water. And uh, Straight Jocelyn there, the fractional leader from Little Owl, Tide Cottage, then a gap to Fairview, behind Fairview, Ballet Lord, and Milan Major. See that Tide Cottage in third place here, he just gets in too close to the bottom of the fence, and this is one of the few fences with a drop on the landing side. Now just watch him, he's in third place, Tommy Carberry sees that he's going to be too close, he takes a pull, but doesn't quite get the horse back in time, he gets close and just touches the top, now watch him on landing, you can see that he's overbalancing on that first stride, his nose touches the ground and that's gone past the point of no return I'm afraid, but it shouldn't really affect him in his future races. But uh, you can just see there in fact, uh, fair turns jockey being unseated wasn't hit at all by Tide Cottage as we had originally thought. They've got five left to jump now, and they're only, Ron Barry is sitting up all right. There are only three fences, three horses left in it now. Milan Major is continuing. And that was Little Owl and Straight Jocelyn together from uh, Milan Major a long way back. And they're coming to the final ditch now. The last over on the far side. This is four fences from home. Little Owl and Straight Jocelyn. Straight Jocelyn on the inside. Both jockeys on their feet all right. Little Owl there from Straight Jocelyn and Milan Major just coming up to the ditch now. So certainly the, uh, the horse is unhurt, the fallers. That's the back marker, Milan Major just jumping. It owned by the sponsor of this race, the Peter Marsh uh, Handicap Chase, owned by Simon Marsh. So virtually three uh, left in it now. And uh, the two leaders, Little Owl from Straight Jocelyn. It's Little Owl and Jim Wilson the leader from Straight Jocelyn. Peter Scudamore as they come down to this next one. Little Owl from Straight Jocelyn. Straight Jocelyn mistake there. It looks as though he's getting a bit tired, Straight Jocelyn. Coming down now to the second last fence in this Peter Marsh handicap chase. And Little Owl with a commanding advantage now over Straight Jocelyn in second. Little Owl and Jim Wilson with two fences between him and victory in this Peter Marsh. He hit that a bit hard at the top, but got away with it, and now he's just got one fence to jump. Little Owl and Jim Wilson from Straight Jocelyn and Peter Scudamore. A long way back is Milan Major. This is the final fence now. Little Owl, the favorite, coming down to it, running only for the second time for his new connections. Little Owl comes to it, jumps it well, beautifully, very neatly indeed, gets a good cheer from the crowd. Straight Jocelyn jumps it in second. A long, long way back is Milan Major, but coming down there is Milan Major, in fact, as we see him now, but this is Little Owl striding away towards the line to win the Peter Marsh limited handicap chase in very good style indeed under Jim Wilson, his new part owner, getting a big cheer from the crowd. Little Owl does it very neatly indeed. Little Owl passes the winner, the winner of the Peter Marsh. Second, straight Jocelyn, and we'll have quite a long wait then for Milan Major. There is the winner.